Example 1.13. A father wants to deposit an unknown lump sum amount into an investment opportunity two years from now that is large enough to withdraw $4,000 per year for state university tuition for five years starting three years from now. If the rate of return is estimated to be 15.5 per year, construct the cash flow diagram. Okay, so this is a good example of why it is very helpful to have a diagram because here it says like, oh, it's for five years, starting three years from now, starting two years from now, etc. So if you put it in a diagram, it'll be easier for you to visualize it. But let's start from the beginning. So we, w we know that this dad wants to deposit an unknown amount. So remember that lump sum is uh, one time. So it's just uh, he's depositing everything at once. But it's unknown. So this dad, and this is where everything starts, will deposit the P, but we don't know how much he's going to be depositing, into an investment opportunity two years from now that is large enough to withdraw $4,000 and then it has a keyword per year okay for five years so this means that if it's per year and then it says that this is five years okay so if it's per year that means that we have an annual equal amount so we're gonna have our A equals to 4,000 per year okay and I'm just gonna put here that it says that it's for five years so therefore our n we said that must match the a so our n will be five years and then it, it's giving us the interest rate that it's going to be 15.5% per year. Okay, so let's draw our diagram. But first of all, let's point out that the deposit doesn't occur until two years from now. So if we have five years, then we're going to end up having a total of seven years. So let's, uh, let's draw seven years here. We have zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, so then again, uh, this deposit or the P occurs two years from now so let's say that this right here is now so he's gonna be depositing it somewhere in here so here it's gonna have the P that is unknown okay then three years from now okay we're gonna be able to or the daughter or son will be able to withdraw the four thousand dollars per year for the tuition so starting in year three we're gonna have the first withdrawal and it's gonna happen for five years it's one two three four and five here we have a equals four thousand a year don't forget to write down the interest rate, which I'm going to put it somewhere in here. I equals 15.5% per year. Okay. Now, uh, rules that we need to know. So P will always be located, as we mentioned in the previous example, P is always located one interest period prior to the first A. One interest period, in this case would be a year. One interest period prior to the first, first A. Yeah. 
So that's the reason why we added one year on the previous example. Okay, then another thing that we can do here is that technically P should always start in year zero. So, well, note here that actually from years zero to one and from one to two, there is no activity going on. Okay, so the initial deposit doesn't occur until year two. So even though we have now or the present time year zero as now, okay, there's nothing going on here and there's nothing going on there. Okay, so we can say that there is no interest accrued or accumulated no interest accrued from years zero to two. Okay, so if there's no activity going on, so this interest that we have here doesn't apply to year from zero to one and from one to two because we do not have any cash flows uh, prior to this. So therefore we can take this out of the analysis. So I'm just going to put here that should not be considered in the analysis. Okay, so we can get rid of these and we may renumber this as being year zero, one, two, three, four, and five, renumber years from zero to five. And now it'll all make sense because your N will match, the number of years will match your N. So we mentioned here that N is equal to five years. So this is the reason why we only use this part. So it's a total of five years that are considered in the analysis and that will be accruing interest.